Television 4 Tucson. Eyewitness News at 10. A complete report with Bob Richardson and Patty Weiss. Michael Goodrich with the weather. Ron Brooks on sports. And the Eyewitness News team. Hello there. Here's what's happening at 10. Eyewitness News at 10. A complete report with Patty Weiss and Bob Richardson. Michael Goodrich with the weather. Ron Brooks on sports. And the Eyewitness News team. Hello there. Here's what's happening at 10. TVOA, TV4, Tucson. Live from TV4, where the news comes first. Jimmy Stewart and Kathy Ryan. This is Eyewitness News Daybreak. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you all had a great weekend. Today is Monday, the 13th of July. TV4, Tucson. And now, live from TV4, where the news comes first. This is Eyewitness News at 5. Tucsonans try to save a downtown Tucson hotel. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm John Huck. And I'm Patty Weiss. Homeless advocates are picketing at this hour. This is KVOA TV4 Tucson. And now, live from TV4, where the news comes first. This is Eyewitness News at 10. A somber night in Patagonia as a class of 89 mourns a tragic loss. Good evening, everybody. I'm John Hook. And I'm Martha Vasquez in for Patty Wise. This is KVOA TV4 Tucson. And now, live from TV4, where the news comes first. Carrie Martin. Helen Liu. Kristen Lee with weather. Danny Harnden with sports. This is Eyewitness News at 5.30. Good evening, I'm Helen Neal. And I'm Kerry Martin. Topping our news tonight at 5.30, trying to prevent a hantavirus epidemic. Live from KVOA TV4 Tucson, this is Eyewitness News at 6. A it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Live from KVOA TV4 Tucson, this is Eyewitness News at 10. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Johns. And I'm Savannah Guthrie. We begin with the end of the Olympics. And Russ Lewis, Savannah Guthrie, Pamela Davis, Danny Harden. Eyewitness News at 10. We'll be right back. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Live from KVOA TV4 Tucson, this is Eyewitness News at 10. Clearly, procedures were not followed. Procedural error has a bunch of Tucson police officers in the hot seat. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Patty Weiss. Tom McNamara has the night off. Tom McNamara, Patty Weiss, Michael Goodrich, Dan Ryan. Eyewitness News at 10. We'll be right back. From KVOA TV4 Tucson, this is Eyewitness News Saturday morning. Well, as controversial as that might be. Live from KVOA TV4 Tucson, this is Eyewitness News at 6. I think if something hasn't worked after 20 or 30 years, it's time really to give up on it and try something different. The man who led the fight against bilingual education in California is now helping a similar effort here in Arizona. Good evening, I'm Tom McNamara. And I'm Patty Weiss. Live from TV4, where the news comes first. Patty Weiss, Tom McNamara, Michael Goodrich, Dan Ryan. Coming up on Eyewitness News. Got a hankering for some great Mexican food and stellar coffee. Live from KVOA 4 Tucson, Southern Arizona's news leader. This is Eyewitness News 4 at 5. Diana Ross's drunk driving case hits its final crescendo. Good evening, Martha's off. The pop diva was not in the Tucson courtroom, but her attorneys were. You're watching Eyewitness News 4 at 5. 
with Martha Vasquez, Tom McNamara, and Chief Meteorologist Jimmy Stewart. Coming up on Southern Arizona's News Leader. A family reunion in Georgia clouded by tragedy. Live from KVOA Tucson, this is Eyewitness News 4 at 6. Live from KVOA Tucson, where the news comes first. This is Eyewitness News 4 at 10. Well, make way, Rush, and look out. Larry King, a Tucson duo, is on the air, and they're like the love line for your home computer. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lisa Volonek. And I'm Frank Field. There is a lot of talk radio that's on the air. You're watching Eyewitness News 4 at 10 with Patty Weiss, Tom McNamara, Chief Meteorologist Jimmy Stewart, and Sports Director Dan Ryan. Coming up on Southern Arizona's News Leader. Young Kids in the Slammer? Not exactly, but a program in Southern Arizona is teaching kids a lesson about avoiding a trip to jail. You're watching Eyewitness News 4 at 10 with Lisa Volonek. Weather with Frank Field and sports with Danny Harnden. Coming up on Southern Arizona's News Leader. As the search for Chandra Levy continues, a new theory emerges about what might have happened to her. Live from KVOA 4 Tucson, Southern Arizona's News Leader, this is Eyewitness News 4 at 10. And good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meback. Thanks for joining us tonight. Live with coverage you can count on. This is News Force Tucson Today. In Arizona. Live with coverage you can count on. This is News 4 at noon. I... Live with coverage you can count on. This is News 4 at 6. There is a. Live with coverage you can count on. This is News 4 at 10. The issue of global warming is the catalyst for a day of awareness and action from New York to California and places in between like right here in Southern Arizona. Global warming concerns spurred gatherings in cities across the nation today. Live with balanced news you can count on. This is News for at Noon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. This is News for at Noon. I'm Lorraine Rivera. Josh Benson is on assignment. Live with balanced news you can count on. This is News 4 at 4. Good afternoon and welcome to News 4 at 4. I'm Martha Vasquez. Our You're watching a great hour of news and information with Martha Vasquez and Chief Meteorologist Jimmy Stewart. This is News 4 at 4. Balanced news you can count on. You're watching Martha Vasquez, Tom McNamara, Chief Meteorologist Jimmy Stewart with your True View HD forecast and sports with Ryan Recker. This is News 4 at 6. Balanced news you can count on. The weather advisories around the Tucson area have... Live with coverage you can count on. This is News 4 at 10. Drownings of three-year-old and an 11-month-old. Both children have been taken to the hospital. We'll have more on those stories coming up. Good morning, I'm Jimmy Stewart. Welcome to One on One on this Sunday morning. Live, this is News for Tucson at noon. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Allison Alexander. We have breaking news at noon. You're watching News for Tucson with Allison Alexander. Meteorologist Jeff Beanish with your True View HD forecast. This is News for Tucson at noon. Welcome back. A developing story about a ceasefire deadline that has arrived in Syria. Live, this is News 4 Tucson at 4. Live, this is News 4 Tucson at 4. Yeah. In Southern Arizona's first 4 p.m. newscast. A great hour of news, weather, and stories that matter to you. All in stunning HD with Martha Vasquez and Chief Meteorologist Rob Garino. This is News 4 Tucson at 4. Welcome back. Let's check in with Rob. Live, this is News 4 Tucson at 5. And still to come on News 4 Tucson at 5. Live, this is News 4 Tucson at 6. New at 6, the cuts to Arizona's access plan for low-income residents especially hurt small rural hospitals. Live. 
This is News for Tucson at 10. First in HD, this is News for Tucson today. Thank you, Tucson. This is News for Tucson, live at 5.30. And good evening, everybody. Pima County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a possible homicide. First in HD, this is News for Tucson, live at 6. This is News for Tucson, live at 10. And good evening, everybody. Tucson police need your help finding a thief. Who Investigating for you. This is Tucson Today, live. Welcome back. We're coming up on 627. We've got you covered. This is Tucson Today. Good Tuesday morning, everybody, and thanks for being with us. Sean Mooney, Alex Dotek, and Jeff Beamish. This is News for Tucson Today. Welcome back. More than a dozen people were taken to the hospital after a bus in North Carolina rolled over yesterday morning. Sean Mooney and meteorologist Shay Sorensen. This is News for Tucson Today. This morning, we're learning more about the cost of securing the U.S. Capitol. Investigating for you. This is News for Tucson, live at noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Allison Alexander. Thanks for joining us live at noon. We got you covered. This is, is News for Tucson, live at noon. Allison Alexander and Jeff Beamish. This is News 4 Tucson, live at noon. Priscilla Casper and Jeff Beamish. This is News 4 Tucson, live at noon. Welcome back in today's For Your Health. An alarming new study finds a dramatic increase in vaping among high school students. This is News 4 Tucson, live at noon. And welcome back in today's For Your Health. Investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 4. We've got you covered. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 4. Impeachment is the removal of the highest elected person. Priscilla Casper and Matt Brode. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 4. And welcome back. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 4. About a thousand dignitaries, Hollywood celebrities, and many guests of honor paid their final respects to former First Lady Nancy Reagan today. Investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5. We are following a developing story out of Cochise County. There's been a serious accident involving a tram at Karchner Caverns. We've got you covered. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5. To do nothing would make ourselves complicit. Tom McNamara, Christy Tedesco, and Matt Brode. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5. Plus an East. John Overall, Angelique Lazardi, and Matt Brode. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5. The Trump administration has officially banned bump stocks. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5. Investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5.30. Good evening, everybody. I'm Sean Mooney. We've got you covered. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5.30. Good evening. Thank you for being with us tonight. Happy 4th of July. I'm Eric Fink. Sean Mooney. 
Richie Melby, and John Patrick. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5.30. Investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 6. Across Tucson, five years later now, victims of the January 8th mass shooting are being remembered. We've got you covered. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 6. Okay, buddy, I'm ready. ready? Yeah. Steve Ryan, Christy Tedesco, Paul Sakala, and Matt Broad. This is News 4 Tucson. Live at 6. Tomorrow's Powerball drawing will be the largest lottery jackpot in U.S. history. First in HD. This is News 4 Tucson. Live at 10. Justice for Trayvon. Investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson. Live at 10. The first presidential debate wrapped up in New York just a couple of hours ago. It was the first time we got to see both candidates battle it out on the national stage. We've got you covered. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Danelle Confair. John McNamara, Christy Tedesco, Paul Sakala, and Matt Brode. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. The federal court in Tucson has been... Steve Ryan, Christy Tedesco, Paul Sakala, and Matt Broad. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. The golfing community worldwide and here in Tucson. John Overall. Angelique Luzardi, Paul Sakala, and Matt Brode. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. And welcome back. A nine year old Phoenix girl who suffered third degree burns. Sean Mooney, Angelique Luzardi, Richie Melby, and John Patrick. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. The study of the spread of buffalo grass here in Arizona is now high tech. This is News 4 Tucson. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Bengura. Danelle Confair has the weekend off. Investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson. Investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson. We've got you covered. This is News for Tucson. It's on Friday Football Fever. Brought to you by Arizona Health Exercise Equipment. Give me the ball. Busy on him. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, give Miranda High School players the ball and the Tigers will probably put it in the end zone. Well, it's week five of the 520. Welcome to the show. I'm Steve Nunez. And I'm Artie Mata the fourth. Thanks for joining us. And of course, we have a smorgasbord of topics to chomp on today. So let's get right to it. You ready for this? Of course, of course. All right. Arizona's basketball team is off to a tantalizing start. From KBOA, we've got you covered. This is Tucson Today. Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Destiny Quinn. You're watching Tucson Today with Destiny Quinn, Sean Mooney, and meteorologist Shea Sorensen. News for Tucson. We've got you covered. From KBOA. We've got you covered. This is News for Tucson, live at noon. You're watching News for Tucson at noon with Priscilla Casper and meteorologist Shay Sorensen. 
News for Tucson. We've got you covered. And welcome back in today's For Your Health. From KBOA, we've got you covered. This is News for Tucson, live at 4. Pima County will continue to enforce a mask mandate despite the governor's order last week. You're watching News 4 Tucson at 4 with Amanda Gomez and Chief Meteorologist Matt Brode. News 4 Tucson, we've got you covered. In today's For Your Health, vaccine hesitancy appears to be dropping. From KVOA, we've got you covered. This is News for Tucson, live at 5. Well, good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Priscilla Casper. John has the night off. You're watching News for Tucson at 5 with John Overall, Priscilla Casper, and Chief Meteorologist Matt Bro. News for Tucson, we've got you covered. And hey, welcome back. Traffic has resumed in the Suez Canal. From KPOA. We've got you covered. This is News for Tucson, live at 6. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. You're watching News for Tucson at 6 with John Overall, Amanda Gomez, Chief Meteorologist Matt Bro, Sports Director Paul Sakala. News for Tucson, we've got you covered. More fans will be allowed at Arizona Diamondbacks games this season. At 10, U of A students going wild for the Wildcats as the women's basketball team makes history tonight in the NCAA tournament. Plus, Sierra Vista saying goodbye to face masks as the city rolls back COVID-19 restrictions. And later, Catholic Church leaders in Tucson accused of covering up child sex abuse. News for Tucson Live at 10 starts right now. From KVOA, we've got you covered. This is News for Tucson, live at 10. And there you have it, the Arizona women's basketball team heading to the final four for the first time in the team's history. We've got you covered. This is News for Tucson. You're watching News 4 Tucson at 10 with John Overall, Amanda Gomez, Chief Meteorologist Matt Bro, Sports Director Paul Sakala. News 4 Tucson, we've got you covered. A Tucson Justice of the Peace is back on the bench tonight after firing what he says was a warning shot. Eyewitness News 4, voted best newscast by the Associated Press. 